YouTube, Pare, what's up? How you guys doing? My name is Ronnie. Welcome to my book. Today, our good friend Roddy sent over a couple of Beast Wars Transformers for us to play and do a mini review with. So, those with kids at heart, let's do this, shall we? Here they are. Uh, they came with pre banged up boxes, so opted not to do an unboxing because the box didn't look good in the camera. Anyway, we'll just go right ahead and play with them and do the mini review. Across the galaxy, it has come to this, Optimus Primal. Face to face, tooth to claw. Yes. Have you anything to say? I'd say that's prime. Let's do it. <laughs> Here, Optimus Primal and Megatron, the two main characters, so, uh, the protagonist and the antagonist of the series Beast Wars Transformers. Looking at them, this really takes me back. Beast Wars Transformers was released in 1996 and was the first Transformers to be made entirely in computer animation. Back then, this was already revolutionary. But watching it again now, I have to say that animation did not age very well with all those undefined polygons and non-realistic environment. But we didn't really care much about those when we were watching them back in the day. This brings out those nostalgic feels. Uh, I can recall all throughout what the plot was for the entire series, but I know that Somehow the Decepticons stole a ship, the Autobots gave chase, then there was a time space warp anomaly that occurred and they were warped off to a distant time and planet. The planet was uh, filled with raw energy. They need to have organic skin to protect them from the exposure. So much of the time they are in their animal forms. So in this case, uh, when that happened, they referred to themselves as the Maximals or the Autobots, and uh, the Decepticons were called the Predacons. Optimus Primal, maximize! So we're gonna start off with Optimus Primal. He came in the box in his robot form. Optimus Primal took in the form of a gorilla. No, he is not Optimus Prime, but he just took the namesake quite accurate in terms of design. He has very limited uh, accessories. It only comes with this two swords. So, yep, uh, we'll go ahead and transform this. In the cartoons, he is seen most of the time walking on two legs. As a gorilla, you know, he is most uh, sometimes he can go on all fours. So the toy is designed that uh, for you to be able to pose it as bipedal, or he can go on all fours, like you said. His swords, I'm not quite sure how this was this thought of, but he's got some slots at the back 
can slot in the sword like an older so so we have the gorilla form of Optimus Prime if you look up front you can see that yeah it, it pretty much looks like a gorilla but uh, on the side still gaping holes or lines gaping lines that shows most of the robot parts which really doesn't do much uh, to hide it and even the hind legs so that was an easy transformation so pretty cool Megatron terrorize and next up is we have Megatron of the Predacons. Uh, this one's a much bigger figure and well, it's menacing because as a robot form, um, yep, he's purple. <laughs> he has the arms of a dinosaur head or a T-Rex head, more specific, and the other arm is the tail. I would say quite accurate based on the animation design um, on his robot form. So, well, but as, at least as far as I can remember. Alright, in robot form, he's a bit top heavy. You want to be careful on the joints of his legs because that, you know, it, it does kind of get loose quite easily because he, he is quite heavy on top with all those extra. Um, skin but overall it, it it's a very menacing figure tyrannosaurus or a t-rex head open his mouth reveals a blaster inside other thing to notice though on his left arm is his tail and some now uh, somewhat of a claw in the animation uh, there are instances where he does not have this in his arms i think um, there was an incident that fired or projectile missiles. Too much detail on it. Uh, hoping that this could have been a detachable accessory. So let's see if we can go ahead and transform Megatron into his animal form, which is a or dinosaur form, which is a T Rex. This mode retreat! <laughs> which uh, can be yeah, nerve-wracking because you don't know if parts are going to break or not. So, okay. Ta-da! Okay, so we have the T-Rex Roar! With the transformation of Megatron from this robot form into Barney, the angry dinosaur, it's not quite as clean because you, you'd still see some lines and there's some gaps between them. No matter how you press on them, or, you know. well, I guess that's one disadvantage of having or leaving things as your alternative form. Because dinosaurs and gorillas do not have straight edges; they have curves, and it's kind of difficult to translate that into a toy without, you know, sacrificing form with functionality. But yeah, I do like that there are still some articulation of uh, the tail. Uh, there's two points in the tail that can move left and right. The half mid and the beginning of the tail 
Yeah, with the balance, uh, we need to find the correct position for him so that he can stand on his own. Again, he's front heavy, so you just need to position the legs or put him in a position that uh, can make him stand. All right. It's not as an easy transformation as earlier with uh, Optimus Primal. But yeah, this one's a bit nerve-wracking because uh, the joints are still tight, so you need to unlock them and you know, just need to be careful that you don't actually break them instead. Overall figure, it, it's pretty awesome. It's actually fun. You know, uh, if you can get past the color purple or the Barney color. So we got these two figures in their uh, Maximal and Predacon form. It's actually King Kong versus Godzilla if you think about it. It's been over a decade since when I last played with Transformers toys. Uh, the last time was, I think, were Transformers based off the Michael Bay film or the Bayformers. I had a colleague who collected knockoff figures and displayed them in his workstation and from time to time I'd borrow them and try to transform them from figures to their vehicle and back again. So I really can't say much on these figures. Uh, the only criticism I have, again, are the unclean lines and the glaring gap where they transform into their creature form. So, yeah, aside from that, it's, they're, they're pretty solid figures. I mean, they're a lot of fun to play with. Megatron, terrorize! Optimus Primo, maximize! <laughs> It's been a couple of months since we started this channel and we're actually on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And to thank those who genuinely supported me and continued to support me, we're giving out a small token of thanks by raffling off this baby. It's literally this baby. It's a Funko Pop of the child Grogu from the Star Wars series The Mandalorian. So cute! So I'll be opening this to anybody with a Philippine address and Unfortunately, the shipping alone would cost more than the token itself if we ship it internationally. Sorry mga dude pare, maybe we can do another one when the channel has grown more? Yeah? To join, there are two steps you need to go through. First, follow the Instagram page of my YouTube channel. It's gonna be linked down below in the description. And second is give this video a like and then comment and within that comment be sure to include your instagram handle i'll be checking to make sure you guys follow the rules okay i'll leave the raffle running for, for at least a couple of weeks probably until the end of the month or un until we reach 1000 subscribers and we'll feature the winner in one of their videos by then so thanks again for the support and that's it for our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe down the bottom if you still haven't, and smash that notification bell. I'll see you next time.